Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones for Projective Reviews and joining me is Kevin at AWOL Vision. So Kevin, this is the first time that AWOL Vision has been at Infocom, correct? Yes. We've done a lot of articles and reviews on, on AWOL Vision. Can you talk about, you know, um, what you're doing for the consumer market and give me some examples of some of the things you're working on. Yeah, for the consumer market, you know, we've been, uh, you know, becoming uh, one of the favorite ultra short throw projector mm -hmm. to the consumers for their living room, media room, well, even like outdoor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, projection. So, you know, we've been, uh, you know, establishing our, you know, brand uh, identity in a residential market, mm -hmm. but then, uh, at the same time, we have our dealers uh, who does the commercial installation mm -hmm. using our projectors for their project. Mm -hmm. And we saw there is a definitely an opportunity for us to get into the commercial market. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we studied the market a little bit you know, by attending last year's Infocom. Mm -hmm. And now, a well, year later, we came up with a, you know, various uh, a new product and a various uh, application scenario where our projector can be used you know, commercial application. Yeah, because a lot of the benefits of a um, a bright, you know, tr uh, tri laser, ultra short throw projector for for a consumer home, um, application will work just as well in a in a conference room, boardroom, classroom um, application. The ability to easily move a massive screen from place to place and not have to worry about people walking in front of it and throw distances. All of that stuff um, applies to professional and and consumer applications. And one thing I've always liked about AWOL Vision that separates you guys from the competition is a lot of companies, when they build these projectors, they're focused on just a projector. Right. And then you have to go out and find a screen and find a mount and find a stand. Right. And you guys are much better at putting together a complete solution. Right. And so, so for example, the original Vanish TV, I believe, yes. was everything you needed, the cabinet, right. the case, and the screen. Yeah. So you're taking that same approach to, to right. the commercial to the side. Commercial market, so. Okay, so let's go through, and why don't you show me sure. some of the cool um, products that you're, that, you're, um, that you're showing here, and, so, and talk about some of the applications. All right, uh, today we are showcasing our 128 inch uh, 21 by 9 ultra wide uh, projection uh, for the meeting room applications. You know, Microsoft Teams and now Zoom have you know, 21 by 9 aspect ratio option to have a more canvas uh, for the meeting. So, you know, the flat panel TV, uh, the size wise, was limited to the 105 inch. But for a larger uh, meeting room, you need a more than 105 inch. That's why we are coming out with a 128 inch or 115 inch uh, 21 by 9 aspect ratio screen with uh, our 3500 Max, the, the new model uh, dedicated for the uh, Infocom, the commercial market. So the the difference between the 3500 Max and our Pro models, uh, there are three. First uh, is a uh, HD base T uh, integration. So our regular model has a uh, three HDMI inputs, but Max model has two HDMI input and one HD base T 3.0 that capable of, capable of 4K 60 uh, without compression. That's the first, and the second is the various aspect ratio. You know, our standard has a 16 by 9 is our standard aspect ratio, but Max has a 16 by 9, 16 by 10, 21 by 9, 32 by 9, and a CinemaScope 2.35 by 9. So you can pick and choose different aspect ratio depending on your need. And the last uh, third uh, features uh, that differentiate the Max is the Crestron uh, integration. So our team is working on a Crestron connected uh, integration and also the XIO cloud management SDK uh, implementation into our projector. So uh, Crestron control system or the XIO cloud can uh, directly uh, access to our projectors to get uh, like intelligence like how many hours has been used, what kind of input uh, is currently used, things like that. So it will be very uh, quick and intuitive uh, for a large, you know, scale deployment where you have uh, multiple projectors in a single project, those uh, XIO cloud implementation will be uh, very helpful. And we have a live demo set up here with a Crestron uh, UC engine and uh, the Credenza from the Salamander design and a Zabra uh, Panacast for a conference room camera. So let me show you the demo. Just click of button uh, of the Crestron touch panel uh, will enable the 21 by 9 uh, Teams meeting room. So
So as you can see, uh, you can still share the contents and have the chat on the right, and you can have you know like raise and you know different uh, option. So you still have a good size of the. Uh, image of your contents uh, without uh, you know limiting yourself to not to have you know looking at the chat or like other options. What we are showcasing here uh, at AWOL Vision booth of Infocom 2024 uh, is the AWOL Vision station. So we had uh, many customers asking for a more affordable option of placing the projector in our floor rise of screen. So we came up with this station idea. Comes in uh, three different pieces, left, right, and center. And this is designed uh, to be worked with our projector and a screen. So you don't need to worry about uh, placing the projector you know from the wall is all calculated so you just uh, place the uh, station and projector and screen and you will be good to go and what we are demonstrating here is since you have a you know 100 inch or 120 inch very large uh, you know uh, the display instead of watching a single game you can have up to four different games you know, with our projector Hi everyone, uh, thanks for stopping by uh, AOL Vision booth at Infocom 2024. What we are showcasing here is, you know, a lot of commercial dealers been asking, uh, you know, can you make your screen and the projector more portable? So, you know, we listened to them. So we came up with the road case, the flight case idea for the screen and a projector. And as you can see, we have a power outlet, uh, you know, designed on here. So you don't even need to take the screen out uh, for the setup. And then you just put the projector. So maybe the setup time could be less than 30 minutes. Very easy, very simple, and then, you know, easy to carry around. So it will be a perfect uh, application for a rental and staging market. What we are showcasing here is our Vanish, uh, you know, very popular solution of the Vanish uh, with the, our own wireless uh, audio surround sound system. So you uh, just connect the HDMI dongle into the, our eARC uh, audio return channel HDMI port and then uh, set the uh, <clears throat> projector setting for the surround sound system. Then it will transmit uh, all the audios to the four different speakers including the subwoofer here. As you can see, there is no speaker cable, it's just a power cable. And then when you turn on the surround sound system, our projector's built-in uh, speaker will turn into the center channel speaker. So, you know, our projector can be worked as a center channel speaker for your surround sound system. In this section of the booth, we are showcasing the projection cave. So we are using uh, three of our 3500 max uh, projectors to create the one big 270 degree immersive uh, you know, projection. So we are uh, using uh, the scalable and Aventus uh, you know, technology to do this uh, edge blending and uh, content creation. The reason we are getting into this market is traditional uh, regular throw projector, in order for you to do it, you need to have a much larger space because of the, the throw distance. But with the ultra short throw, uh, just 20 inch from the wall, you can have each uh, side of the wall is 180 inch. So you can uh, get the immersive experience at a much smaller uh, you know, spaces. And let me show you the quick demo of the contents uh, created by Ventus. It's a 360 degree contents that you can play on. So it's all interactive. So you can uh, you know, change the times or real time uh, data changing. And you can also change the video that you play on a jumbo board. It's a very cool uh, technology that Ventus uh, created for our demo. Yeah, if you have any if you have any question, uh, feel free to reach out to us, aorvisionpro.com. Uh, that's the dedicated website for our pro customers. So, Stephen, um, Kevin actually walked me around the um, the, the booth and, and showed me some of the commercial based applications. I think it kind of shows that same commitment of putting together complete solutions for for your customers. Talk, talk a little bit about AWOL Vision, because you've grown pretty rapidly, haven't you? Yeah, we have grown rapidly, and it really all comes down to how we built our first machines, mm -hmm. our first USTs. We use the best hardware technology, the best software technology, knowingly that we were going to be in all aspects, the commercial space, the consumer space. 
So we wanted to make sure that it was all already built in so we wouldn't have to keep coming out with new models. Mm -hmm. So we really expand the company by doing over-the-air updates, by adding Dolby Vision, by adding new aspect ratios. Um, and we're able to adapt to different market environments by uh, you know, basically having great engineers, software engineers, hardware engineers that work together and uh, are able to adapt to what's new this year and next year. Yeah, and what I like about you guys is whenever you can upgrade the projectors via software, you'll do that, which saves the end user in a tremendous amount of money because you've added a wide range of features over the last year. And one of the newest ones is your is your sound system. Yeah. So that's a that's a massive value for any any person that buys one of your products. So, as you know, um, these uh, projectors are not inexpensive, and when the sound system is great, it's better than a TV. But a lot of our customers have their own sound systems, and one of the complaints was, where are we going to put the center channel? Because you can't put it in front of the device because a lot of the receiving uh, apparatus is there and you can't put it on top because it'll block the projection. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the idea of turning the 30 watt speakers that are in there into the center channel as an option. And then we um, have what's called the AWOL Vision Wave. Mm -hmm. With the Wave, you have a dongle in the back that has eight channels. Mm -hmm. So we have four speakers, uh, two one-way, two two-way speakers, and we have a uh, subwoofer, um, and through that dongle in the back and through uh, wireless technology and using the center channel, you create your own sound system that usually would cost a lot more money than you know what we're actually selling it for. And the convenience of not having to run the wires all over the place, which is yeah. one of the biggest headaches of doing it. And, and picture quality wise, um, the projectors are outstanding. We're just finishing um, a review on the um, LTV 3500 Pro. Love the machine, it's amazing. Picture quality is great, it's one of the brightest models that's out there. And you actually have one unit, one, one unit here. Like I said, I, I love the products and I look forward to other products that you have coming out in the future. Now, now if they want to learn more about AWOL Vision's um, lineup of products, where should they go? They can go to awolvision.com. Um, and we are also uh, online at Best Buy and on Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of information on all those, th all three of those websites. And um, Philip, if you don't mind, I have one question for you because yes, uh, we get a lot of people that review our products and they miss one thing, and in, in which I find um, sort of what really separates us from the rest of the of the USTs that are out there. Some of them have it, some of them don't. And it's the ability to really get down to the detail as far as your color management system. Mm -hmm. And um, they use the user mode and then they go into like the basic color management system. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to know if you had a chance to actually go into the color correction mode where there's numerous. Yes, you know. so that's one of the reasons, one of the things I like about your projector. Yeah. The out of the box performance is is very good. So uh, most, most projectors are gonna have your vivid modes and your other modes to kind of deal with ambient light or sometimes they're a little cool because your lights in your room are a little warm so it kind of balances out. But reviewers like myself, are geeks and we always want to have that the ability to fine tune. So your 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 standard your 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 theater mode is or is very very good. Um, and but being able to go in and make those adjustments with CMS and and two point um, uh, uh, gray point you know RGB balance and stuff does allow you to really dial the projector in. So it allows you to take it from an A to an A plus. So okay. so that's something that I actually like. And a lot of ultra short throw projectors do not give you that level of adjustment. So kudos to you guys. Um, for, for that. And also, if you guys want to learn more about AWOL Vision and their philosophy, um, we have an article up on our website right now. So, so check it out. It explains their philosophy, the history of the company, and this basically um, Stephen and his team's um, idea on what you should be looking for when you buy a, a great laser TV option. So, so Stephen, thank you very much, and, and I, I look forward to seeing you at the next show. You got and, it. and for you out there, take care, and we We'll talk to you soon.